Okay, and we should be live, should be the key term. In fact, it looks like we are. So, let's get this started then, shall we, by going... Hello everyone, and welcome back. Today we're playing some more new Gundam Breaker as we build another uh, gunpla in this game. Now, last time we built a little something... We built a little something that was more of a green machine, you know? We built the RS-02 Erk. That was a good unit. But today, you know... I feel like designing something that's just not based purely from scratch. I'm gonna go based off of, uh, I'm gonna go based off of ideas that I have from uh, friends that I know who, you know, what type of mobile suit I think they'd pilot, I think they'd enjoy. And right off the bat, I have two people in my head that I wanna try to build mobile suits for, so I'm gonna see if I can get two of them done this stream instead of just one. So without further ado, let's get to it, shall we? All right, first things first, torso. We are gonna go with, those are master grade. Let's just stick with high grade for now. Um, uh, oh, the Death Scythe Hell torso is really nice. And I do think it would fit for one of them, maybe even both actually. Oh, so yeah, let's get that going for now. Arms, actually, yeah, let, let's keep the Death Scythe Hell torso. That is one I think would be absolutely perfect for uh, either of them. So, let's see. Arms, arms, arms. Um, hmm. Hmm. Alright, this is where I'm going to have to start thinking on it a bit more, because here, I know the two of them are a little bit different, because the friends I'm thinking of are my pals Lok Thang and Shulan Long. So, it's a thing of, I'm trying to think of who would pilot what. Who would pilot what? Also, hmm. Hmm. I think okay. Let's go with Locke first. I think he could pro he would probably use Gogo arms, if given the chance, because those do look rather nice. But let's keep looking. There might be better arms. Mm, 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 mm. Let's see. Let's see, because those Gogo arms actually did look really nice with this torso. Could go with the Johnny Ridden variant, which is just you know crimson, or not even crimson. It's just bright red. Crimson is a little bit darker. Mm, mm, mm. You may also be noticing that we have more parts than we used to before. I did some farming off camera. <laughs> I did a fair chunk of farming off camera, actually. So, we have some more stuff that we can use here. Hmm, hmm. The go farms actually work really well with that torso piece there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We'll take a look. We'll take a look. Let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. Gundam Alex arms are really good. They have Gatling on it, and you know what? Locke is all about that utility. He would probably like having the uh, 90mm Gatling guns in his arms. He'd probably like that. So let's put that as our possible for right now. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm, hmm. Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Hmm. Now, if we find one that has a Flammenwerfer, we'll switch to that, because we know Locke likes to burn things. He He's a pyro, just like me. <laughs> Alright. Let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. You know? There's a few things I could... I could use here that work with it, but I think the, uh... Gundam Alex arms might actually be the best choice right here. Also, I didn't realize how good the Rick Diaz arms looked on a torso that's blocked off like that. Hmm, hmm. Interesting. Let's see, missile pods, da 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 da. You got Cubile. Which would not be something that would be used like that because, oh my lordy, that clipping. Okay. Ah, uh, the Sentinel Gundam stuff is really cool. It's really cool, but I think... Sentinel Gundam is more something I think that my pal Zergi would have used. Because he was all about, you know, classic, uh... Crusader-type gear. So I think that's more what he would use. Mm, mm, mm. Jigen, let's see, let's see. What do we got here? What do we got here? Mm, could use the Sazabi. Oh, no, 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 no. Hmm, hmm. find one that has more utility to it. I mean... Oh, definitely not. Definitely not. Hmm, 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 hmm. 
This does have a shield built in with it. It has a tornado, so it's... Lock might actually rock this because it's got the burst breaker for a close range attack, but then it's also got that built in shield. I think he'd use the F91. I think he'd use the F91. All right, let's get some legs. Let's get some legs. For Lock, we need some legs that would be very fitting for a mobile suit he would pilot. I think he would use something that's a little more. He doesn't really fly. He doesn't really fly from what I see. He, he's got a bit more of a grounded nature to him, so I think he'd have something that would be a little more grounded. Mm, 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 mm. Maybe a little heavier than uh, than your standard Gundam or standard mobile suit. Mm, 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 mm. So from what I understand, he does like driving his truck while playing some crazy while playing some crazy tunes. His words, not mine. So, let's see here. Also, can I just say, I do not like the way the Atlas Gundam's legs work. I mean, not work, look. Not the actual leg part themselves, though the uh, waist part could be better designed. I like, the, I like the knees and feet, but the stuff that just slides off to the left and right here, I do not like that. That, oh, I do not like that design style. Hmm. Round Gundam, uh possible, but it's a little bulky for uh, the more sleek nature we get with the design going on right now. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Could go... Well, the GM Command doesn't look half bad, but I think we need to find something that's a little... a little more sleek while still remaining grounded. Not nearly as blocky as these things that we've been seeing. Mm -hmm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, they, these are pretty blocky, but they look a little better. Mm -mm -mm. Where's the Atlas even from? Thunderbolt. Atlas is from Gundam Thunderbolt. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ooh, this looks like Gundam Mark II legs. We've used these recently, but you know what? They are a possibility here. Also, Ravage, good to see you. How you doing this morning? How you doing? Ah. <laughs> uh, Da -da -ba -da -ba. We've used these legs recently too. Let's see. Da -da -da. Hey, Loki, how's it going? Gotta go sleep. Saw you online. Forgot what Gundam did. You, what Gundam do I start, suggest you start with? Uh, if you want something that's more lighthearted, not heavy on the military, G Gundam. If you want something that's more militaristic but just really, really well written, Eighth MS Team. The O Eighth MS Team. That is by far the best in the entire Gundam franchise. Mm, 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 mm. Also, it's good to see you again there. It's good to see you again. Hope you've been well. Mm, mm, mm. Who get with the Barzam? It has a high gear buff, lets it move fast. It just doesn't look right right here. Hmm. I'm looking, trying to find, because right now we're building the design based off of what we feel, what I feel my pal Locke would would use. Mm, 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 mm. Ba, 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 ba. You know, the new Gundam legs don't look half bad. Hmm. Hmm. We'll keep this as a possibility. I want something that's a little more chunky than the new than the new Gundam one, though. But it also has to match with a torso and arms. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see here. We might. We've already got F91 arms. That would be too too well matching. Let's see something something different. Hmm 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 hmm. You've been watching the new series so far yourself. Hmm hmm. Yeah, which from Mercury's been looking really good. Hmm hmm hmm. Eighth to me. Eighth team it is. Oh yeah, it is real good. It's only 13 episodes long as well. Hmm hmm. Been good. Just busy with life mostly. I I know how that is. I know how that is. Life do get that way sometimes, don't it? Hmm 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 hmm. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm glad to hear you're doing good. Glad to hear you're doing good. Let's see. Gundam X, Gundam X legs are also really nice. They're also a little more bulky than the... A uh, little more bulky than the Watchable calls it. The uh, new Gundam legs. So that might be what we use here. Because they do match well. 
Hmm, 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 hmm. Interesting series so far. Glad to hear it. Hmm, hmm. Because I still have not yet to. I have yet to start on uh, Witch of Mercury. I saw the prelude episode. I saw the prelude episode, but I haven't seen anything. Else. I think we found it, folks. I think we found the legs that would fit lock best. Ale Strike. Let's take a look at some more, just in case. I think the Ale Strike will be the ones we're using. Hmm, 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 hmm. Ooh, the dual Gundam legs are like the Ale Strike ones, just a little more rounded. But, hmm, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Um... Let's see here. I think... Okay, the Force Impulse Gundam legs work well too. They work really well here. Um, hmm, I'm torn, I'm torn. They do have a folding razor in them. So yeah, we're gonna go with Force Impulse legs. We're gonna stick with that. Alright, sticking with that. Now let's get a headpiece for uh, Locks Gundam. Or mobile suit. We don't even know if it's gonna be good. It might be a mobile suit. It might be a mobile suit. Hmm, hmm. You know what? As silly as it is, I could see him using the gun cannon head, so let's put that there for a start. <laughs> hmm, now here's the question. Do we think he'd use a Gundam head, a mono eye head, or a visor unit? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see. I think... I have a feeling he'd either use a Gundam head or a visor unit. That's just my personal take on things. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But, but, you never know, you never know. Okay, let's see. He would also have something that has, ooh, he might use something like that, actually. That head fits really well. Let's keep this as a possibility. The GM Command Helm. Or the... Mm, the Blue Dusty Unit 2 head doesn't quite fit as well, I, I don't think. Hold up, let's double check. Actually, it's essentially the same head, it's just that... You know what? It would work, I just need to repaint it. Mm, 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 mm. Alright, we might be going to the Blue Destiny head right here for it, because... It has functionality. It would work well. Mm, 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 mm. Though we will be modifying it to make sure that, uh, you know, it feels fully unique. Now, it's sort of funny how a bunch of these, um, a bunch of the guns that came out before the Mark II actually end up being better than the Mark II. <laughs> because when you think about it, you think the Mark II would be the better one, seeing as how it's the enhanced version of the original. But nope. Nope. Other units were better than it. Mm, 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 mm. I can also see him using the Jigen head as well. I could see him using a Jigen head. Hmm. Let's take a moment to think on this. Gonna t take a sip of my tea. Uh, make that two gulps, actually. Mm, mm, mm. We'll keep the Jigen head in mind. We'll keep the Jigen head in mind. Oh, or the Stark Jigen. Stark Jigen does have that head Vulcan with a little bit more oomph to its design. It does look nice. It's a very sexy all-around design to put together here, too. Mm, 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 mm. Let's take a gander, though. We want to make sure to look at everything we can before we make a decision. Though, you know, I Locke might also just rock this because he could. Just because he could. <laughs> the Anzan reminds me of the Hellgast from uh, Killzone quite a bit. Mm, 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 mm. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm... I think... Hmm... I do say that I think 
We're probably going to stick with the blue destiny head. Just a hunch. Just a hunch. Gonna modify it. I do think we're going to stick with the blue destiny head. Just taking a gander here first to make sure. And... And none of these other ones feel right. None of the other ones here feel right. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely sticking with the uh, Blue Destiny headpiece. But we're taking a look either way at these. All right, we got a headpiece picked up. Let's go for a backpack. All right. We could use the standard Gundam backpack, which has two beam sabers. Looks really good already. We'll keep that as a possibility. But we're probably going to get something a little different. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Gun tank does give us major thrust power. Though strangely not as much boost speed. Hmm, hmm, hmm. GM is just, you know, the Gundam one, but with less, with less oomph to it. Zaku 2. Nah. Okay, what do I think Locke would have? I mean, he could rock the Gof backpack, actually. Give himself a boost tackle. I know Locke would probably love to slam into things like that. He would probably love to ram things more than just slash them. So, yeah, let's go ahead and grab that. For now. For now. Da -da -da. You know? You know, the G3 Gundam's backpack also looks really nice. That little sleekness to it, but... Eh. Hmm. Hmm. Johnny Ridden's go go high mobility type. Could grab that. Also gives a boost tackle. But at the same time, it sort of... Messes with the arms a little bit. Doesn't look quite right. Doesn't look quite right. This right here also doesn't look quite right, but that is a massive beam cannon, which is always cool. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, so we need to figure out a proper backpack piece here, because I am debating left, right, and center here without really knowing which one to go with. I'm sticking uh, so far, I think the uh, the one we have would work well on it. It looks fitting for the design, too. There's always a chance that there's something better. Always a chance that there's something better. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Hmm, hmm. Oh, could attach this. Could attach this. But I think... Hmm... Oh, not, not the O. You know, Locke might actually want funnels. Locke may want funnels. It would look a little weird like this, but he might be a funnel user. Hmm. 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 All right, let's keep an eye. Let's keep an eye on things. Uh, this right here also looks nice and sexy on this unit, but no. Oh, we're not gonna go with the stand new Gundam stuff. The new Gundam stuff is way too damn big. Huh? Could go with this. This does look well, work well on it. But I think we're gonna pass on that and go with not that. Um. I have some ideas. I have some ideas. Uh, he does like his utility. The Jesta Cannon could be an option. It sort of clashes with everything. Hmm. Ooh, action boost. Which, uh, hmm. Hmm. That could work. But it'd have to be a purely space unit at that point, And I don't think he'd like that. I think he'd like something that could be used in both space and on in gravity. Hmm, 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 hmm. Is this the only good for a new gunbreaker? Uh, I mean, at launch, yes. But nowadays, new gunbreaker is actually really well done. It's really well done. It's been fixed and everything. I think it's a, I think it's a fine game. It's not great, but it's better than Gunbreaker One. 
That said, it's worse than Gundam Breaker 3, and nothing's gonna top Gundam Breaker 2. Gundam Breaker 2 is the best Gundam Breaker. Straight up. Straight up. Gundam Breaker 2 is the best Gundam Breaker. Because Gundam Breaker 2 not only had great customization, where you had to balance your power levels, you had to balance everything with your energy levels on your mobile suit to make sure that everything was going solidly and smoothly, you also had to... Uh, you also had a proper story in it, where if characters died, they died. It was really well made. Really, really well made. Mm, 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 mm. You know, that's the only good thing? I'm going to disagree with you on that one, Ranger, because I enjoy this game. I enjoy this game. <laughs> but yeah, because this game is so much better afterwards. It's essentially a multiplayer mode. It, it, it more or less is just a multiplayer mode that re that really should have been added into another game. They should have built a single player experience first and then built this around it as a multiplayer mode. I mean, the combat around it as a multiplayer mode. Mm, 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 mm. Because the gameplay is solid. The gameplay is solid. It's just that it's meant more for multiplayer. And I will stand by this. Hmm, let's see. I think we might be going with the Victory Gundam backpack, the base Victory Gundam backpack that I clicked along the way, because it does work really well. Ooh, wait, no, 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 no. We're gonna go with this. This looks nice. This looks nice. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay, shield, we are going with... We want to go with what the arm already has built in, so let's not worry about that. Okay, now on to builder's parts. All right, first things first. I want to mess with the headpiece a bit. I want to mess with the headpiece a bit. Um, let's see what we we got that we can do. I have an idea. I have a cunning plan, Black Adder. All right, onto the head. Not center head. We want. Right side ahead, we want this to shrink down all the way. All the way. Rotate it. Uh, nope, not like that. This, ah, uh, it's still too big. Still too big. Dag nab it. All right, now we're, we're going to remove that. Okay, I had an idea, but it wasn't going to work. Ba -ba, ba -ba. Could give it a high sensitivity sensor. Actually. Actually. High sensitivity sensor might not be a bad idea. Hold up. I ha I think this might work. Position Z, move it back. Actually, no, not move it back. Let's go with not center head. Let's go with the right side. Rotate it. A little bit once we get it back to position. There we go. Okay, let's rotate it this way. Hmm. Scale it down. And move it forward. Okay. Let's also rotate it back a little bit. Uh, maybe not that far back. Let's go with 50. Position X, let's move it in. Move it back some more. No, that way, that away, there we go. Uh, move it out a little bit. Move it up. Move it. Back some more. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, we need to move it up maybe that many more clicks. Uh, yeah, let's go with 21 right there. And we're going to do the same to the other side as well, because that that's that's actually starting to look pretty good. We're going to modify this head. We're going to modify the hell out of this head. All right, let's do it. Let's go. High sensitivity sensor. We're going to do another high sensitivity si sensor on the other side. Left head. We shrink it all the way down to minus 300. 
All right, apply. Let's see, it was 11, so minus 11, 21, 14. Minus 11, 21, 14. Perfect. Then we go minus 50 plus 150. So minus 50 plus one, sorry, minus 150 plus 50. You get one. The exact opposite, because we're on the other side. There we go. Mm, 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 mm. 50. Minus 50 again. Come on in. There we go. You're next on the prices, right? Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Wunderbar. All right, now we're going to modify some more parts of the, of the head here. Now, hmm, as we slap this together, it's going to start looking, I need to do more than just modify the head if I want to make it look like its own unique thing, but right now, we're just modifying the head as is. You only need one more, one, maybe two pieces left to, to make the head its own unique thing. Hmm, hmm. All right, heat saber. No, no, no. We don't need a weapon. We want IFC unit. What's that? ah? Hmm. I wanted to use this last time and wasn't able to. Let's see. Let's see. Let's put this on the head here, center head. Let's uh. Yeah. Let's rotate it. Shrink it down. And let's try pushing it back. Hmm. 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 May need to be a bit smaller, actually. Actually, double down. Go, go larger. There we go. We rotate it. Uh, not with this. Okay. Not with this one. Rotation X. Rotation X. There we go. Gonna need to cover up the back end of this, though. One way or another. Or, or... You move it forward. Um, hmm, hmm, down a little, okay, I think, I think we're going to get this just fine here in a moment, we need to uh, bend it down a little bit more, like that, bring it a little bit more forward, Maybe a little more up, actually, too. Yeah. Or down to keep that hidden in the back. All right. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now... Hmm. Hmm. Actually, that's a, bit... that's a little too forward on... On there, so let's raise it up a little bit. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's keep a look out here. Uh, that's just barely clipping through, but no one will notice when it's in action. So I think right there is where we'll keep that. Okay, the head is looking drastically different from when we started. But, but, it's starting to look like something of its own accord, you know? Hmm, I do need to modify the arms, though. Probably gonna be some simple modifications this time. Probably gonna be some simple modifications, because we're... Hmm... So I don't want to make it too obvious that we're using the F91 arms. But maybe just one thing, maybe a thing on the right hand side, you know, from this angle, on its right arm, balance out the beam shield on the left. Hmm, 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 hmm. 
All right, I have an idea. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Where do we go? Added armor is like that. We used add armor last time, so I don't really want to use that this time around. But, 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 we could use some luminescent armor. Hmm. The luminescent armor would look nice, actually. Would look nice in the end, but not on the arm. Let's see. Let's see here. Could put a booster unit on the arm, make it look a little more uh, weighted. What's the booster unit look like whenever? Let, let's give this a look. Let's give it a look. Arm right. That actually don't look half bad. That don't look half bad at all. Okay, let's shrink it down. Shrink it down. And you know what? People don't need to know it's a uh, need to know it's a booster unit. People don't need to know. We can say it's anything we want. That said, let's still make it work like a booster unit. By, is it Y? No, it's not Y. It would be Rotation X, maybe? Yeah, Rotation X. Rotate all the way around. And now move it down. Um, let's shrink it down some more, actually. Shrink it down some more. There we go. That's looking better. We're gonna move it into the arm a bit. There we go. That looks that looks better. That looks better now. Okay. Let's also lean it forward a little bit. Let's get it position 10. Position Y will go up a little. 55. Um, and then lean it forward. That's not the right one. Okay, so we want rotation Z lean it forward like that. That way the booster is coming off the back of the arm instead of being into the arm. Ooh, ooh, that's an idea. That's an idea. That's an idea. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Cab, I, I have another cunning plan, Blackadder. We move it into the arm like this. We shrink it down some more. Then we uh, move it up. Move it in. Till it looks like it's actually Part of the arm itself. Like that. And then Norm make it line up with the arm better. Let's go position Z right there in the middle. Five. Actually, no, at three is in the middle there. Okay. Now we also want to rotate it another which way. No, we don't. Okay, we're gonna leave it there. <laughs> Alright. Now we have that on there as well. Mm, 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 mm. We'll paint that the same color as what we do the rest of the unit. Mm, mm, mm. I exactly rocket punch. Okay, that actually looks really nice. I'm liking how this is turning out so far. I'm liking how this is turning out so far. Though the, the cap is a little weird right now, but we will be adding another thing onto it to make it more fitting. Don't we? Wor don't you worry? Don't you worry your little heads? We got this. We got this. All right. Let's see. What do we want to add to the top? What do we want to add now? Because we need to add something to the legs. We need to add something to the legs to make it look like its own thing. Like its own thing. Actually, could repurpose these beam cannons to make it look a lot... <gasps> I have an idea. There was another mobile suit that did this. Okay. Okay. There's no, another mobile suit that did this, but it hasn't been done in a hot minute. Okay, check this out, check this out. What we're going to do, is we're going to shrink it down, just so we can make sure this is fitting. We're going to go to minus 135. We're going to rotate Z. 150. Rotate X. To about 150 as well. There we go. Rotation Y will be. Ooh, rotation Y will mess with it, so we're gonna need to be very careful on how we do this. All right. Position Y is like that. Position X is left and right. We want to go on the Z spectrum there. Okay. Okay. What rotation Z? Yeah, Rotation Z did that kind of rotation on it. Hmm. You can't just rotate it forward, huh? 
Hmm. Hmm. In that case, I have another plan for it. Raise it up. Push it in. Push it in and get it latched. Okay. Now that it's latched itself in there, can I rotate it more proper? Answer is a resounding maybe, but it's going to give me a headache to do it. Um. Hmm. All right, I could mess with it, but we'd be here for an eternity. So what we're going to do is this. Raise it up to about right here where the kneecap is. Pull it forward a bit. 55. Okay, we got a new kneecap unit on this. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's not going to make much sense like this. Not going to make much sense. I think we need to ro re-rotate it to face the other direction. I think it's better face up. Better face up. Hmm, 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 hmm. All right. Well, I had an idea that 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 idea got shot. That that idea went went down. It's gone. That idea is that idea is done. Yin rings. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. You heard of shooting yourself in the foot, but that'd be ridiculous. Now, like this, though. However, if I do this right, shrink it down. We can have a unit that has a beam rifle on its knee units. Which hasn't been done, but maybe once before, if I remember correctly, on a mobile suit. But this would make more sense, especially if, you know, it goes, kneels down, can can, can fire up at an enemy. Mm, 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 mm. Just bring it on in so it doesn't... It's going to clip a little bit, but it'll at least look better. There we go. Round off to 45 is going to bother me otherwise. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, be beam savers are a th thing, so why not? Exactly, exactly. And also just looks nice. Even if it's not, even if we don't see it as a beam cannon, we could also see it as just a uh, as a knee guard. Mm, mm, mm. So let's get a beam cannon right. All right, right leg. This. All right. Let's uh, get the numbers. So minus one ninety five. Okay. Minus 150 plus 150, so probably the opposite, so plus 150 minus 150. Nope, okay. Same thing, so 150. Oh, this time we do have to go minus 150 here as well, okay. Okay, there we go. Minus 45, minus 130. All right, that's easy enough. Minus 130. Perfect, perfect. Okay, that actually, that looks really well with these, with these leg pieces like this. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Now, I'd like to modify the torso a bit. I also need to continue to modify the head a little bit, too. Okay, mm. mm. let's see something. Let's see, let's see. I don't want... That's not, I didn't mean to label that. Can we unlabel? Thank you. All right. Okay. I want to get... Where are you? I have an idea. Hear me out, I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay? 
It may not be the best idea, but I have an idea. We need to shrink this. We need to rotate this. Uh, nope, not X. The Y? No, not Y, so it'll be Z. Okay. I think you all can see where I'm going with this. All right. Move it in here. Ooh. Can I shrink it enough? Hmm. Hmm. This might cause a bit of a problem. I can't shrink it enough. But, 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 this is what clipping is for. This is what we... This is what we use... This is why we use tactical clipping of model pieces. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right. Let's see. That more into the body. And then... Okay. Move it forward. Ugh. No, I don't think this is going to work. Damn. All right. Well, we'll keep looking. We'll keep looking. Something new. Something new. Uh, that could work on something, but not the torso. Actually, let's just uh, remove and then start going like this. That way it'll show up better. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Amazing lead A is that piece right there, which is really nice. I we could use one of these, shrink it down enough. I think we could make some useful out of it, but I mm, it's not feeling on this one. Mm, mm, mm. Booster unit. It, we've already used one of those for the arm. Type A sensor. We could put one of these on there to change up the neck piece, which would look really nice, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Let's change up the neck piece a little bit. All right. Position Y, move it up top. Scale, shrink it down. All right, rotation Z, all the way around. Not rotation Y, we want rotation X. Here we go. Here we go. This is what we're talking about. Okay, y'all know what I'm about to do with this. There. Uh, let's move it to 85. Position Z. Move it back a little bit. Okay, once it gets lined up, we'll then raise the Y position a bit. Increase its scale. Maybe not that much. Um, mm, mm, mm. Let's lower it down a bit more again. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe move its rotation X a bit. There we go. Mm, 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 mm. Down a little bit on position Z. Position Y. Scale it up some more. A tiny bit more where it lines up proper. Need to lower it. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this to where it's just. Mm, I'm gonna need to shrink it. Mm, mm, mm. Gonna need to shrink it because that headpiece is gonna clip with it. Uh, so let's. Let's shrink it down. Shrink it down. Bring it up. And lower it down as well. Mm, 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 mm. Drop it down a bit. Mm, mm. There we go. That'll that'll work just fine. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that'll work just fine right there. I would like it to be a little bit bigger. Just so it would fit better, but I don't want it clipping with the, uh, whatchamacallit, with the chin piece. So 
right there is probably where we're going to leave it. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, we'll make that work. We'll make that work. And now for the head. We got to modify the head a little bit more. We got to modify the head a little bit more. All right. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Single. Single antenna, right? No, 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 no. We need... We need another type of thing for the top. Um, go with a boomerang blade antenna. Uh, we might actually. Mm, mm, mm. We might. Mm, 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 mm. Ah, that's the wrong button. All right, let's see. Could also go with the face guard thing again and modify that to be the, the V blade. Wouldn't look half bad actually with this unit. Um, but I think we're gonna go with the boomerang blade antenna, maybe. Maybe a crest blade? Ooh, crest blade doesn't look half bad. Mm, mm, mm. Or a U shape. Ooh, the U shape might actually work really well here. Hold up. Okay, check this out. Raise it up. Pull it back. And we can just enlarge in it to make it more like a proper headpiece. Rotation X, rotation X. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's see, like that. Lower it down. We want to make it look like it's all part of one piece here. Hmm. Hmm. Starting to have doubts about this one. Um. All right, let's move it back. Back like that. All right. Increase its size more? Yes, indeed I can. Okay. Now let's rotate it back a little bit more as well. Move it back some more here. I want to cover up that light sensor. Okay. Hmm. The, the brim does make it look a little funky, but I think with the proper cone of paint, we can make this work. I think with the proper coat of paint, we can make this work, folks. Mm, 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 mm. All right, let's get this to work here. It's going to take some doing, but I believe in us. All right, first things first, weapons. We need to do weapons. Okay, Locke would have... Mm, knowing him, he would probably use a standard beam saver, but let's see if we can get one that matches the uh, color of his beam shield, you know? Or at least somewhere close. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, ta -ta. I know there's gotta be something. Oh, he might also use twin daggers. I could see him using twin daggers. It's gonna be a possibility. Um. Hmm. Okay, these would be more of a possibility. Mm, 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 mm. Let's see here. What will he use? Could equip him with a Sazabi axe, but that seems a little excessive here. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see, um... Ah, we found it. Okay, long beam sword is... Yeah, I can see him using a long beam sword. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Gun, though. What type of what type of rifle would he use? Would he use a rifle? Would he use a normal gun, actually? Um... He might actually use a beam spray gun, in all honesty. But let's take a look. Let's take a look. Beam gun is stronger. Hmm. Let's 
take a look here. Ooh, okay. That's actually cool looking, and I could see him using something like this. Uh, let's see. Is Barzam's gun. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Interesting. Might be fun. We'll keep that in mind. Well, could also use the Stark Jigen one because it has triple beam shot and oh burst rifle. Yeah, I could see him liking that. It's not as strong as the other thing. I could see him liking that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Alright. Once we figure that out exactly what we want to do that here though. Exactly what we want to do. What would be fitting here. In fact, um I think we've actually already found what we're gonna use. I think we've already found it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Huh. Oh. Oh my. That is a big gun. That is a big gun that Zeta Plus has. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So I'm still thinking, I'm still thinking, folks. I'm not sure. Though I... Actually, we probably already have gotten a winner here, let's be honest. Bazookas are too dang big. Um... Hmm... Uh, okay, bull, go to the side. Yeah, we got what we got. What we're gonna use an inner frame. Now, folks, you may be wondering why I always use a an enchanter frame. Why I always use an enchanter frame? Well, folks, that's because one regular HP recovery is a natural thing. That's very useful. There's also higher EX charge, all this other stuff. But all this right here it sort of doesn't matter. You see what what really matters is uh, the fact that you see the stats over there on the right? How you have HP, attack power, break power, all that stuff? Okay. This has the most... has is essentially an advanced version of the balance frame, if you take a look at it. I mean, they're all technically enhanced versions of the balance frame, but I mean, it's the it's most well-rounded of them all. That's good HP, good attack power, doesn't have the great break power, but movement speed, boost speed, fast speed, it's all pretty good. All pretty good. Striker frame... Really good attack and break power, but can't move for Jack. Um, gunner frame, again, really high attack power, thrust capability, and fire gauge comp compensation, but can't really do much else. And the searcher frame, it's good. It's really good for giving point A to point B, but it just, it doesn't measure up. It doesn't measure up. Really, the enchanter frame is the best out of all of them. Straight up. It's just the, it's just the best one out of all of them. So we're going with the enchanter frame. Mm, 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 mm. Well, all right, and let's uh, check our EX skills. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll keep the XM. Oh, we can self-destruct. Reminder, never hit R1 plus triangle. <laughs> um, all right, looks like these are all of our weapons, all of our abilities right here. Okay. Okay. Let's get to painting. All right. Paint time. Paint time. Though, before we start painting, since we're about an hour in and the ad's going to start here in half a second, I'm going to go get me some more drink. And I'm going to I'm gonna run an ad for about a minute, 30 seconds, and we will be right back. So I will see you in half a moment, folks. In half a moment.
Okay. Drink obtained. Let's get back to this, shall we? Mm, 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 mm. Let's get started on the paint job here. Okay. First things first. Once again, we're going to turn everything stark white so that we will have a blank canvas. Uh, any influence from other colors on the model. Mm, mm, mm. All right. So let's see here. Let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. What color scheming do we want to go with on this? That is the question. That is the question. What color scheming do I think Locke would rock? Hmm. 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 We know there's glow. We know the glow has to be green to match the beam savers. But the other parts. Hmm. We'll find out in a bit. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, like this, this is looking a whole lot better. Okay. A headpiece looks a whole lot better like this. Good, 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 good. Okay. Well, let's just get some inspiration. Let's look at the defaults. We could have the ace white. The uh, meteor pink. Elite navy. Dark gold. Lightning blue. Command crimson. Blast green. Sonic Orange, Soldier Green, Mass of Purple, Justice Red, or Trial Gray. Hmm. Hmm. Ollie's the one that strikes me the most is probably... I like the blue here. The blue here looks good. The blue would work well. So let's go ahead and take a look. The same with the gray and blue. Hmm. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we... Also, why are these still shiny? Hold up. That was going to bother me otherwise. That was going to bother me otherwise. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Okay. First things first, start with the torso, as per usual. Main torso part shall be... Hmm... I think we... I like the blue. I like the blue. I think let's go with a blue coloration. Hmm, 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 hmm. Uh, actually, no, he wears, he wears some browns, actually. He wears some browns with his vest, so maybe a yellow. Maybe a worker's coat yellow or brownish color would work. Hmm, 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 hmm. Yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah, this, this is much more fitting. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what part is this lighting up that's going to be painted? I can't see it. Hmm. But well, we know this part right here. This part right here is that, and let's change that to... Uh, let's like make that a darker yellow. More of a golden yellow color. Okay, what is this painting right here? What is this painting? I need to know that part. Okay, okay, okay. Finally, we have an answer. Uh, let's make that part. Uh, let's make that part a gunmetal black. Mm, 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 mm. These parts right here will join in on the gunmetal black. Hmm. Mm. Because it's like they're the pins holding that together. And down here, we've got to give a little bit of red for the cockpit. A little bit of red for the cockpit. Mm, 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 mm. Actually, maybe we should make the vents here more of a silver. Yeah. Yeah, silver would be nice, actually. And this right... That's too, br that's too blue. Uh, let's go with this with this right here for now. That'll turn to a nice nifty silver. Mm, 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 mm. All right. I'm liking how this is looking so far. What about you guys? What about you guys? So, time for tea. Mm, that's some good tea. That's some good, good tea. All right. Uh, the body part. Um, let's go ahead and make this. Uh, let's go with the light gray for now. Mm, 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 mm. 
All you can think of is He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. I see, I see. I see. Oh, wait, we have a Worker's Brown. Oh, that works so well. That works so well right there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Okay. Also, I sort of want to change these pegs to those bra to that brown color now. So that just works so well. Mm, actually, those need to stay black. All right. Um, what about the silver here? Should I change that to the workers' brown? To the work suit brown? Yes, that looks so good. Okay. Okay. Arms. We are gonna go with the. Uh, Good old workers yellow, as we had earlier. We're gonna keep going with that color scheming on this. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, ba, ba, ba. The colors and letter of this angle looks like a H. A little bit, yeah, yeah. Okay, we want the other parts, the veneers, or the thrusters, technically. Ba, 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 ba. We're gonna give that that same brown coloration. What part is this? What part is this? Ah, that part right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and give this that same brown coloration as well. Or maybe, no, that should probably also be the gold coloration. Hmm, 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 hmm. Yeah, that should be the gold coloration as well, too. There we go. After the side, this part will go with. There we are. There we are. That's looking nice. Do we want to change the arms at all? Do we want to change the arms at all? I mean, could make it a proper Gundam white coloration, which is slightly off-white. It's actually not the same white coloration. Is this is a slightly off-white? Hmm. Hmm. Like this, we got pure pale pla uh, plastic white. But down here, it's Gundam white. I think we're gonna go with the Gundam white coloration. It's just slightly off, more cream colored. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, let's rock that. Let's rock that. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, now for the legs. Right, first part, we're going to get. Go with the gold. Yeah, we should probably go with the gold coloration first. This part will probably be best be... Might also be gold too, but it could also be this. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's the way we like it. All right. Tertiary. The tertiary color here will be... Uh, could also just make that the solid gold. Could also make it the Gundam red that we used earlier. Hmm. Hmm. I think keeping it uniform here might actually look best. You know, keeping that gold coloration. Feet, we will have the... Um, do we want to go with the brown or with the gold here? Hmm. Or do we go with Gundam Red on the feet? Uh, Gundam Red on the feet looks off. So we might actually go with... Let's go with the darker color for now. We can change it if we want down the road. That does match right there, just keeping it all the same. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's make it match. Okay. And these parts, you know what I'm gonna say. We're keeping it that we're keeping it with that Gundam white coloration. Hmm 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 hmm. There we go. I could... Ooh, that also looks nice, but no, we gotta keep it with the Gundam white coloration. Okay. Okay. This first one's gonna look like a proper Gundam. Mm, 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 mm. Now I need to make a Skeletor. Um, mm, mm, mm. I see. I see. <laughs> all right. Backpack unit. Let's go with... All right. That is going to color what part? Ah. Okay. This needs to match a little bit, maybe. Uh, or, no, this could also be a brown right here. 
Actually, having that as a brown looks sort of good right there. Mm, 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 mm. So, we'll put that there for now, and... Mm, but the... It does stay more uniform like this. Ah. Keep it with the brown for now. Keep it with the brown for now. Next part is... Ah, the, out, the outsides. These have to match. These have to match. So these will be the gold, the work suit yellow. All right. Same with this. Been watching CG, see a He-Man reboot, and you've been enjoying it? Glad to hear you're enjoying it. Glad to hear you're enjoying it. I don't really know much about He-Man. Actually, I know pretty much nothing about He-Man. All I know is Skeletor, He-Man, and the original jingle, which is just He-Man. <laughs> there we go. That looks right. That looks right. Well, actually, no. Those are the joints. Maybe that should be the gunmetal black. That should stay the gunmetal black, actually. Keep the. It looks like it'll. It looks like it attaches to the joints on the inside like that. Yeah. Keep that gunmetal black. And this right here, the inside of the thrusters. These can be a bright, shiny silver. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Now, to paint the headpiece. This is going to take a bit. It's going to take a bit. All right. Now, we could go with the standard, you know, what we've been doing all, all this time. Just keep it with the bumblebee-looking uh, yellow coloration that's also... Actually, yeah, I like this. I like this. Base plate, we will have the... Uh, um... Want to be brown or Gundam white? Mm, let's go with the... Yeah, let's keep it with the beam here, with the brown there. All right. This right here needs to be Gundam red. Just because I said so. Or, 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 we could make it the Gundam white coloration. Nah, 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 nah. We're keeping... We're going to keep this gun red, maybe. Could mix it with the yellow. It does fit. It is uniform. It does look nice. Okay. Cap, though. The cap. Um, This needs to be... Keep it uniform. Keep that uh, brown coloration right there. Right here, we will go with... Yeah, let's just keep it uniform throughout. Let's keep it uniform throughout. This is looking good. What part is this changing? What part is this changing? I've ch I've added so much on this. I don't know what part this is coloring. Oh no. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Oh, it's underneath the face mask. Underneath. Okay. Let's go with. You know, the gold, keep with it. Keep with the theme, because the chin is the gold, so why not this? Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Now for the now for the hard part. Now for the hard part. We need... Um, pull up. I'm suddenly feeling off about this whole paint job here. Not the top part, but mostly the legs and the arms. Let's change the legs up a bit. Let's change the legs up a bit. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Bada bing. Bada boom. Bada bing. Okay. Okay, that has me feeling better about it. That has me feeling better about it. Okay. This is better. This is better. Okay. 
Hmm, hmm, hmm. I could just paint them. Do I? Do I, do I, do I? Not that. Okay. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to go ahead and keep the entire body uniform. We're going to be forsaking the Gundam white coloration. Mm, mm, mm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Which means we also need to change this part to be the proper color over here so that it matches better. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, this is starting to look a lot better now. I'm liking this a lot more now. Okay, okay. All right, let's uh, move. You don't don't end it. There we go to the builders parts. Okay, the first builders part is ah that. Okay. Let's see. Do I make it work? Uh, yeah. Let's make it work around. It's the main part of it. Front part can be the uh, bumble the gu the uh, yellow color we got going there. Mm, 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 mm. And the little fins can be yeah yeah. There we go. So we got we got a color scheme for this one. Brown. Yellow. Yellow. There we go. Okay. Yeah. This looking all right. This looking all right. All right. This thing only has one color to it, and it's coming out of the brown portion, so we need to make it match. That way, it looks like a solid piece. Mm, 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 mm. All right. This part. Which part am I looking at here again? Oh, right. The arm booster. The arm booster. Okay main part needs to be well, let's make it the the dark brown back part can be the same yellow there there we go I don't see this anywhere so I'm gonna mark it as brown just in case so it'll blend in better there we go mm 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 Unless that was odds back here. Okay. Yeah, that was a good choice then. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Okay, we want the clasp part. Let's make the clasp uh, look more naturally fitting to the torso. Mm, mm, mm. The main part here will be the, the brown coloration, the accent color. And this part right here will also be... This part right here will just be gunmetal black. Straight up, gunmetal black. Mm, mm, mm. I could also make it the dark brown just so it fits. I think the gunmetal black may look better. Could also make it that gold. Nah, the gunmetal black looks best. There we go. So, yellow, brown, gunmetal. There we go. Yeah. And before anyone says it, yes, I know we're making him look like a bumblebee. <laughs> but that wasn't the original intent. Mm, 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 mm. It's just, it's the colors, man, and they work really well for this unit. Mm, 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 mm. All right, let's go ahead and... Uh... Yeah, that... Bada bing, bada boom. Where... Okay, I don't see this one changing anything, so we're not going to worry about it. This one, however, will definitely change something. 
let's also make this the same throughout here. There we go. All right, last but not least, we have this part here. The horns themselves, that should be... Hmm. That looks all right, too. Let's put it like that for now. Might change these to be one of the few silver parts, actually. Just because, you know, give a little bit of a slight contrast to everything. Sort of like silver antennae. Or, 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 gunmetal black antennae. Yeah, that works. Okay. All right, and everything has now been shaded and colored except for the weapons. So the weapons, we will just, uh, let's be honest, we're gonna, probably gonna re return them to their default theme. Um, actually, Trial Gray, Trial Gray. So, hmm, hmm, hmm. No, it'd feel lazy doing that. All right, we're, we'll we'll do it the old-fashioned way. We'll make it all match. We'll make it all match. All right, all right there. This one. Go. Okay. Oh, the gun has so many parts to color. Okay. Um, get this as a basis so we can see what parts would look good in different colors. Um, no, actually no. We're just gonna do this. Um, insides will be gunmetal black. The Top piece will be um ba, 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 ba. that and body of it will be such ta -ta, ta -ta, ta -ta, ta -ta. Oh, the handle of it should probably also be like that. It's right here. We will change. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We got this. Hey, crazy. Good to see you. Good to see you. How's it going? Change to this coloration. And last but not least, we will change the barrel to be. Honestly, we'll probably go with gunmetal black here. Or, no, no, no. We'll, we might go with stinger yellow. Yeah, let's go with stinger yellow. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Okay, we got everything colored. Now, all parts, the uh, coloration that we want from this. We want the glow to be matching. We want it to be that nice, bright... Be that nice, bright green. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, like that. Do that on this part, too. There we go, now it all matches. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Pretty good just waking up. Glad to hear you're doing pretty good, even though you're just waking up. I know most people have a hard time waking up from their dreams, because dreams are good, dreams are fun, makes us want to go back to sleep. Mm, 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 mm. But yeah, we've got the coloration on this done. Now we just need to do the weathering and other effects. Mm, mm, mm. All right. So, let's get to it. We'll no Let's change the metallic properties. Mm, mm, mm. Let's go with about 50 for the majority of it. Gloss on it. We'll go ahead and put up to 55. Ooh, this is looking nice right here. Okay, okay. Washing. Let's see. How does it look whenever fully washed? Ooh, that's a lot of acid washing. No, 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 no. Let's go back. Dial it back to about maybe... A 40 here, because that 40 actually looks nice on it. 
Airbrushing. We do this, it makes it more vibrant, a little bit darker. Let's go to, I'd say, let's go 35 on this one. Chipping, gotta have a little bit of chipping. Not a lot of the chipping, because if you have a lot of the chipping, it starts looking like this, it looks really scuffed. But, if we go with maybe, maybe 15. It's a little bit of chipping in there. Not a lot. Or maybe 20? Now, 15 is nice, fair, and balanced. Yeah, 15 looks alright. 15 looks alright. Mm, 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 mm. Damage. It was to be battle scarred. It would look like that. That's actually pretty cool looking. But we're going to lower the damage on it. The damage shall be... Mm, very minimal, honestly. Let's see... No, 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 no. We want... There we go. Now it just looks like it's texture, not actual damage. Perfect. Perfect. And dirty feet. We gotta get some dirty feet in there. Let's go ahead and put it on a 15. Yeah, there we go. Liking this, liking this. Okay. By weathering to all parts, but now we have to go in and mess with some things manually. Because you know me. You know me. We're going to the builder's part. We're going to the headpiece. You're changing this to full on metallic and shiny. Give it that nice onyx look. Mm 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 mm. Alright. And you know what? I think that may be the fastest we've ever done a uh, a paint job on a thing in this. Hmm. Hmm. But I do want to change a little bit on the torso now to look at it. The inner vents. The inner vents. I want to make those metallic and glossy as well. Because those are blades on the inner vent. They should, they should sheen. They should have a little bit of a... Uh, Gloss to them. Mm, 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 mm. And red needs to be full metallic because that's guarding the co cockpit itself. Mm, 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 mm. All right. I think we're done. I think we're done. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if this counts as a mobile suit or a Gundam. Maybe somewhere in between. But yeah, we're done. Unless we want to add. An emblem here. Uh, let's see. Now, this looks like it could have been made by... Hmm... Now, we will mark this as an AUG original. But where to place it? Where to place it? That's the question. Not on the head. Um... Hmm... on the legs. The legs too doesn't look that bad for it. Uh, just position it down some more. Uh, can't position it down far enough. All right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Orb? Oh, you think orb, huh? You know what? You're right. Actually, you're right. Let's remove that one. Let's let's go with orb. Also, let's go with black lettering. There we go. Orb. Mm -mm 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 -mm. One on the legs. There we go. All right. Oh, that's very fitting right there. Let's go ahead and scale it up a bit. Maybe not that much. Um, rotation, a little bit more like that. Position X. Or to the right. No, 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 no. It was fine where it was. I'll lift it up a little bit. Lift it up before you go-go. Uh, hmm. There we go. Yeah, that's actually really nice. Nice little placement there. Okay. All right, we have finished this build. Save current changes. And you know what we do as soon as we finish with the build? We test it. But first we need to name it. First we need to name it, that's assembly. This will be RS-03 Fang.
done. All right. Can we, uh, is it going to save? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I, it is stuck. It is stuck. I may have done goofed the game. Um, see, this is why I'm glad there's a saving thing every single time. So let's, um, we need to close it and reopen it because it did freeze. I did break it. That's the first time I've ever broken it like that. <laughs> I think it's because it thought I was still in the, uh, in the menus for typing. Hmm, 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 hmm. But it did save before we went into the naming area, so it should be fine. Should be fine. We shouldn't have lost anything. All right. So let's get right on into it again, shall we? Mm-hmm. Yep. New gun breaker. Uh-oh. Did I lose internet? No? Weird. Weird. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, c'est la vie. Let's go set up and name it. Let's name it properly. Space. Oh, no, that's... Space, there we go. We will name it Fang. R1. Go. R2. Save. Why is it locking up on the name? Why is it locking up? And is it because of the network features thing? Huh. That's weird. I think the PS5 itself may have screwed with the game. Huh. That is weird. That's weird for that to happen. Does it say cannot connect to network features? So that's probably why. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll just go ahead and go... We'll just go ahead and go test it out in the field. Hmm, 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 hmm. We'll name later. We'll name later whenever we know it's not going to mess up like that. Mm, mm, mm. Sound good? Sounds good. I wonder why it's acting up like this. Alright, let's go test it out. Let's go test it out. All the way down. We will take it to... Right about... No, let's go here. Into space. All right, begin mission. Oh, look at that. That's a nice looking mobile suit. All right, and here we go. Let's see how well this is going to turn out. Good thrusting capacity on it. It didn't It didn't go for too short, didn't go for too long. Ooh, and that saber has a nice swing arc on it. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, we're going to be doing just fine here. So granted, we can actually get some of those uh, crates. There we go. I do like the burst shot on the on the rifle. First shot is looking nice. It's got a nice mobility to it too. It can turn on a dime. Mm 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 mm. Mm mm. Yeah, this is gonna turn out okay. It's gonna turn out okay indeed. Destroy twenty neutral force units. Roger that. Mm mm mm. Oh look, it's a high gog. Apparently the high gog gets dusted by this thing. 
All right, good to know. All right, how does the melee do? Melee's not as strong, but it does pretty well. Special ability, Folding Razor. Has twin daggers, okay. Mm, mm, mm. Let's see, oh, hello there. Hmm. Okay, wants to destroy the Akatsuki, all right. Let's see, heavy attack, chains, oh. All right. Hmm, hmm. So it's just got a single strike for its heavy attack. One strong strike like that. Okay. Interesting. So it's more prudent to use the, uh... What's what calls it? The standard light attacks with this. Okay. A one triangle is a tackle? Oh yeah, that's nice. And then we can also test out the... First, the bu- All right. Yeah, this is a nice unit. This is a really nice unit. Mm, 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 mm. All right, let's get to the drop point so we can go ahead and deposit some of these items. Yori, no! Mm. Fine, Iori said Yori yes, but mm -mm -mm. now we gotta travel to be able to deposit our stuff and gather more items. Ooh, we still haven't unlocked the ability to use our tornado skill yet. I wonder what that's gonna do for us. Mm -mm -mm. Let's deposit. Mm -mm -mm. You know, now that I'm looking at it, the sword looks like a mass produced Siakushiki. You know, like a mass-produced uh, standard build Hyakushiki style. Mm, mm, mm. Charge shot. Ooh. Give me, give me, give me the item. Okay. <laughs> it was rolling downhill away from me. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> All right, let's gather some more of these parts, and then we'll uh, we'll deposit them. Get some more, get some more credits to use afterwards. So I can get some more parts for use later on. Because the more duplicates you get, the more credits you get too. All right, and there's a lot here to deposit. There's a lot here to deposit. Mm, mm, mm. I also want to get that S rank. So. Destroy Gun Kyrios. Alright. I will happily do that. I just like how we have this beam shield here that just looks nice. Oh, well, there's a part that we need. G3 Gundam. There's also that one down below that we'll be needing to grab as well. So let's just grab these at the moment. And where? Oh. She grabbed the key part? I think she grabbed the key part. Okay. So we're just going to wait for her to get up here. Meanwhile, we're going to grab this. All right, depositing and depositing. All right. Two sets of transfers. That'll get us up to S rank. Perfect. And now destroy target. Also, I'm just realizing we haven't activated our XAM system at all either. So we'll be testing that out here real soon, too. Mm, 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 mm. All right, we have a tornado where... Oh, they're underground. I see. I see. Ba -dum, ba -dum. Okay, so where's the enemy going to spawn? That's the question. The AI will go directly towards where it's going to be, so... As long as we're following the AI, we should be good. Ah, there they are. Grab these. Yoink! Got them X parts. Alright, L1 circle for tornado. Oh! Nifty! Okay, so we have a psychopath on our team, duly noted. 
Oh, the freedom. Nice. And the normal freedom, not the strike freedom. I actually like I actually prefer the normal freedom's design over strike freedom, if I'm being honest. It's just something bad that feels better in terms of this from a design standpoint. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, we have three minutes still. Three and a half minutes to deal with everything. We're doing fine. Look at that airtime this unit gets. Ah, crap, gotta get over there so we can deposit before this thing closes. Alright. Okay, that works, that works. Well, I guess, um, hmm, hmm, let's take the war. There they are, there's the enemy force. Is that, oh, it's a stray red frame, nice. Oh, I'm out of gun. I thought I had more gun. Okay. Well, now we've used up so much time, I need to get up and start attacking the dark, the Archangel. If I don't destroy the Archangel soon, I'm not going to destroy it. And that will be a mission failed. Which we do not want a mission failed, we want a mission accomplished. So, let's get to it. Um, Iori, I see, I, it appears you were trapped on a wall there. Uh, yeah, you might want to go around it instead of trying to go through it. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, oh, the bear guy. We're fine. We don't... We need to fight the bear guys. I did anyway. We just got... We got to rush up top. Got to take care of this main objective. I mean, we have our burst mode, so we should be able to take care of it pretty easy. Burst plus exam system. Hmm, 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 hmm. So it should be A-OK. -okay. All right, though we have a lot of melee to us and not a lot of range, so we need to be careful about that. Though those triple hits do great work. Okay, let's activate the XAM system. Ow, ow. All right. Oh, 942 per strike, okay. 216 per blast. All right, I can deal with this. Then we get break. And, ooh, look at that. We do some good damage there. Get up close. L1. That. Tornado. Mm. Okay, yeah, this arch the Archangel's going down. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Mm, mm, mm. Alright, only one way to do this. Hyper boost tackle. <laughs> all right there we go all in all i think it's safe to say that uh the fang unit turned out pretty good turned out real good in fact all right looks like we've got a few new parts which is nice the rest are Duplicates, so we're going to get a fair chunk of credits back for this. Okay. All in all, nice gain. Nice gain on that one. Okay. And like that, we have another unit completed. That said, with how it's giving us a little issue, a few issues right now, I should probably call this here. I will do one that I'm basing off of, uh, Chew later, but for right now, let's go ahead and look at our unit here in the gallery. Ooh, look at that sleek design. Let me get to the proper initial background. Mm, mm, mm. There we go. Now that that is a sexy design. That is a sexy mobile suit. Mm, 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 mm. All right, there is the JS03 Fang. JS. RS. Why did I put a J there? I was thinking Jericho. Why was I thinking Jericho? 
Huh. That's the RS-03 Fang. And yeah, it is a great mobile suit. It's a great mobile suit. Not sure if it counts as a Gundam or just a mobile suit, but either way, it gets the job done. And because of how things are acting right now, I'm going to go ahead and call this here. I'm going to end this by saying thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please hit that follow button. It helps quite a bit. Watching this on YouTube, please hit that like button. It helps a lot more than you know. But above all else, have a great day, folks.